Welcome back to another college football video in which today we have an ACC matchup between the Louisville Cardinals and the Miami Hurricanes. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate all the support. It shall be a fun quarterback matchup between Tyler Van Dyke and Jack Plummer, as well as a fun coaching matchup between Mario Cristobal and Jeff Brom. So without further ado, let's get straight into this one. Louisville will get the ball to start off the game and here on third and six, the quarterback will get it to the flat to Chris Bell for a five yard reception and this will bring a fourth and one and Louisville will punt the ball back to the Miami offense. Here on third and three, Van Dyke is going to hand the ball off to the running back Parrish who will take it right up the middle and gain 12 yards on the play for the first down taking it to the 50 yard line. The Miami mascot Sebastian is having so much fun after that first down. Here on first and 10 once again on the play right after they're going to hand it off to their running back once again Henry Parrish who takes it for 9 yards and this will bring up a second and one for Miami in Louisville territory at the 42. Here on first and 10, Van Dyke will wait in the pocket and wait for the slant to cross over to the right hand side of the field and he gets it to Xavier Restrepo for a 18 yard gain and a first down. And this is a really good drive by Miami so far as they get into field goal range and in the red zone at the 19 yard line. It is now third and seven for Miami and Van Dyke is going to roll to the right hand side and he is tackled for a loss and this will bring up a fourth and seven for Miami and take a look at the replay right here as the defender was able to seal the edge Miami will now settle for a 33 yard field goal attempt right here and what was looking to be a drive for seven points gets stopped and they will settle for the first points of the game kicking a field goal through the uprights as Miami take a 3-0 lead over Louisville here in the first quarter with 33 seconds left. Here on first and 10 we have a read option and the quarterback takes it himself and dodges a few tackles as he gains 10 yards on the play. What a great run by the quarterback right there. It is now second and inches for the quarterback and they're going to hand it off to the running back Tyon Evans for a 10 yard rush. And it is another first down for Louisville right around the 44 yard line. It is now third and 11 for Louisville and they're going to dunk it off to a halfback screen. Tie on Evans but he loses 4 yards on the play. And this will bring up a fourth and 15 for Louisville. And they will have to punt the ball back to the Miami offense. Here on first and 10 Van Dyke is going to hand it off to the running back Parrish who will rush for 10 yards. And what a great run by the Miami Hurricanes so far this game. Here on second and inches on the, on the play right after they're going to hand it off to their running back Parrish who will rush for 15 yards and the first down taking it into Louisville territory. It is now second and nine for Miami and Van Dyke is going to roll to his right and wait for the slant receiver to get open and it is completed to Xavier Restrepo for another 18 yards and this will take Miami well into field goal range and let's take a look at the replay right here as Tyler Van Dyke was rolling to the side of the receiver that he wanted to get the ball to and what a great completion for Miami on that play. It is now third and inches for Miami Hurricane and Van Dyke will take it himself and gain just enough for the first down. It is now third and six for the Miami Hurricanes and Tyler Van Dyke will check it down to his receiver Colby Young who gains four yards on the play but this will bring up a fourth and one and rather than settling for a field goal looks like Miami will go for it and let's see if they can get it on this play right here and it looks to be a quarterback keeper and Tyler Van Dyke trips up and goes backwards and Louisville will get the ball back. But the clock hits halftime and the score is 3-0 to zero with Miami in the lead. It is now 3rd and 2 for Tyler Van Dyke and Miami and he's going to roll to his right and try to throw across his body 
but it is through the hands of his receiver hand dropped and this will bring up a fourth and two for Miami and they will have to punt the ball back to Louisville here on second and four the quarterback has time in the pocket and works out the flat and gets it to his receiver Tyler Hudson for a 14 yard reception and this will take the Cardinals offense into Miami territory at the 47 yard line here on first and 10 on the play right after Cunningham will hit his check down and get it to Braden Smith for a 12 yard reception and another Cardinal first down at the 35 yard line here on first and 10 the quarterback's going to give it to the running back Evans who fumbles the ball and it is picked up by the Miami defense and we have the first turnover of the game and what an inopportune time for it to come as Louisville were in field goal range so that is points dropped by the Cardinals team on this drive. It is now third and six for the Miami offense and Tyler Van Dyke tries to scramble around in the pocket but everywhere is covered and he gets sacked for 12 yards and it is a three and out for Miami. And let's take a look at the replay to see how this play unfolded as there were just so many Louisville jerseys in the area that the quarterback had no chance. It is now third and nine for Louisville. And the quarterback feels the pressure and throws across his body to the ground. And just like that, Louisville go three and out as well. It is now third and six for Miami. And Tyler Van Dyke will work the left sideline and get it to Brashard Smith for a nine yard reception and a Miami first down. It is now second and eight for Miami. And they're going to hand it off to their running back Parrish who breaks a tackle and has a nice gain of 14 yards and a first down. And as the clock is under two minutes, Louisville decide to use their first timeout of the half. It is now third and 11 for Miami, so Van Dyke will work the left sideline and get it to his receiver for an 11 yard gain. And this will bring up a fourth and inches for Miami. And it looks to me look like that they are going to go for it here. So let's see what they come up with. And if they get a first down here, it is game over. Looks to be a quarterback keeper. And Tyler Van Dyke gains three yards on the play and gets Miami a first down. And they can now go into victory formation and run down the clock to triple zeros. Tyler Van Dyke will lead his offense into victory formation as the clock run downs to triple zeros. And Miami is going to defeat Louisville three to zero. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content like and subscribe it really helps the channel out and I appreciate all the support. If you're a fan of college football and the NFL stay tuned as we'll be covering both all season long. Appreciate all the support and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.